Although commercial production of algae is still in its infancy in Flanders, the organism contains many valuable substances that make large-scale production an attractive proposition. Thomas More and the Flemish Institute for Technological Research have therefore started a research project on their campus in Gheel. The process takes place in a number of stages. Start to grow the algae at flask level, that means in very small amounts. Then we go to bottles of one or two liters. From those bottles we bring the algae to reactor tubes of 20 liters. We start with very small quantities of algae from the stock cultures and we really have to go one step at a time, growing in such a way that there are enough algae to inject a large volume into the bioreactor. Otherwise the time for the algae to grow in the reactor would be much too long. The team in Giel investigate how much light, oxygen and heat the algae need to multiply rapidly in the bioreactor. Harvesting is done daily, not huge quantities, but still enough to be economically interesting since only small concentrations of the extracted substances are needed, say the researchers. The algae are highly diluted in water. To harvest the algae, we remove the water and the resulting paste, the actual algae, is the base of our products. The extracts we then obtain contain, among other things, omega-3 fatty acids, dyes and antioxidants. And these substances can be used by the food industry or by chemical and pharmaceutical companies. Some examples of current applications are as alternative protein sources and artificial colorants. In time, cultivation of algae will become a commercially profitable activity. There are already companies in Flanders growing algae and their products are in demand. However, it will take another three to five years to scale this up to a point where we can speak about a real algae economy.